I have to adjust the height of the yarn guide which is this thing if you can see under here needle. the yarn guide has to be slightly above the needles the ribbon needles when, when you put your needles in otherwise they will jam as you're going around and that's not too bad so so the rule is the needles just just be able to put a piece of cardboard in between them I guess and the same applies for the needles on on the um, cylinder the guide needs to be fairly close to those as well but not touching them or the latches will catch in the guide this is the adjustment to raise the yarn guide vertical or raise it up so you just loosen that screw off and you just tap that guide up that's the screw to adjust the guide in or out bringing it up for the ribber uh, so that the so that the bottom of the yarn guide is just above the ribber needles and correspondingly that the front of the face of that guide is just uh, in front of the needles in the cylinder right now what you can see here is that it doesn't look like there's a very big stitch on that ribber and the reason is I had forgotten to, to loosen off the ribber tension and I have that on the lowest tension so move your pointer right across as far as you can at this stage and tighten up the dial the knob so that we're getting a large tension at this stage and we'll adjust that later on if we need to but usually fairly fairly in there in the highest tension is, is usually fairly good for the these rivers and just our last few needles in and with any luck and a good wind behind us we will be ribbing and I have one needle left to put in that I forgot and I'll just slip that in there and throw those ones back in there now I don't, some people like to hold down on the fabric, some people like to hold down on the weights. If everything's set up right, in my opinion, the weight should be sufficient and you should be able to rib pretty easily. Now we're going around and we're doing some rib. You need to make sure that all the needles are knitting, that there was no open latches. And once we've done a few rows, you, uh, you can actually put your finger up and just run your finger around underneath and you can soon feel if there's a ladder there or if there's a stitch. little bit of oil around there um, just a little bit around on that in out switch because that does get a little bit stiff at times and away we go and we're doing some ribbing and we're looking pretty good <laughs> 